What's up guys, welcome back for another episode of Tattoo Tuesday. Again, just a disclaimer for anybody who is not into tattoos and just wants to watch the powerlifting content on here, this video is gonna have nothing to do with powerlifting. So if you don't wanna watch and learn about my tattoos and you don't care about that, that's cool. Just skip to the next video. For those of you who are still here and who want to watch and who have asked questions about my tattoos, uh, Tattoo Tuesday is where we kind of sit down. We look at one of my tattoos. We look at what it is. Uh, some of them have meaning. Some of them have more or less meaning. Some of them I just got because I thought they looked cool. But we dive a little bit into that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the premise of what we're going to talk about today. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about my chest piece. My chest piece is basically an Egyptian style uh, winged scarab beetle holding an orb. Now, at the time, I just kind of thought that was cool. I really liked the idea uh, and the look of a lot of Egyptian mythology and those kinds of things. So that was the biggest reason when I initially got it. I had it done by Ryan Walls uh, in, at a place called Psycho City Tattoo in Moose Jaw where I was apprenticing as a body piercer. So this was a long time ago. This was probably when I was 18, maybe 19 years old. And uh, it initially was different than it is now. Since then, in the last maybe four, was, what was three or four years ago, I had Andrew Wheeler kind of cover it up, rework it, and redo some, some things about it. Uh, so we expanded it out to cover more uh, and had some of the things, I guess, cleaned up, modified a little bit about it. And like I said, when I got it, the kind of initial thoughts were just that it kind of looks cool. Uh, and since then, I've read a lot into what the symbol stands for and what it, uh, you know, kind of denotes. And one of the things that I kind of really latched onto and thought was cool was that they would put a scarab beetle uh, on the tomb or, or grave of a pharaoh. Uh, and it was a way that they would essentially give the person the right to bypass judgment into the afterlife so they wouldn't, you know, uh, I don't know what the process is for their judgment in afterlife, but that was the way that they would kind of bypass that judgment. So for me, from that, it kind of is twofold. I mean, number one, it stands with my somewhat agnostic beliefs um, or lack of beliefs, perhaps, just in kind of, we'll figure it out when we get there kind of thing. The other side of that being uh, kind of a reminder for me to withhold my own judgment on others. I find a lot of times, you know, uh, a good example of this would be somebody's social media presence is annoying. Uh, maybe that doesn't necessarily mean that they're an annoying person. They just, you know, are amplified and exaggerated as most people are on social media uh, and portray a little bit of a different picture of themselves than who they are in actual life. Uh, so for me, it's an important reminder um, of a lot of that and, and sort of withholding judgment and, and trying to be conscious of judgment and just kind of generally talking smack about people. So that's more or less the gist of it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about that. Uh, maybe I'll talk a little bit about my knee tattoo while we're here because that was another one that was mentioned and asked about and it's a very quick story. I got a ram skull tattooed on my knee because I thought it looked cool. That's the long and short of it. Uh, we were gonna make a full video about that tattoo because it was one that was specifically asked about, but I unfortunately don't have a really cool story or meaning or anything behind that. I just thought it was a really cool piece of art that fit the body really well in that place, and that was why I got it. So there you go, two Tattoo Tuesdays for the price of one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. If you like the video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more powerlifting content and we'll be back at you soon for the next video.